Hey everyone, it's Rodev. Welcome to another scripting tutorial where today we're going to be learning about functions. So let's get right into it. So to get started, I'm going to create a blank base plate and create a script in server script service. And from there we can uh, start. So I'm going to name the script uh, functions. And in here, I'm going to uh, start teaching you guys. So functions are kind of like variables and uh, I'll explain what I mean. So uh, basically say I had this code. So it was like say it was print uh one and then after that print like two then uh three and then uh four five and six so say i wanted to do this but i wanted to do it again and again and again and again now as you can see it's really long and the goal in scripting is to obviously have it really short and to be efficient so to be efficient, right here, what we do is create a function. And for this, we can uh, create our function. So just do a local function with a lowercase f, and they should be uh, both red. Uh, and then from there, you want to type your function name. Just like variables, they cannot start with uh, numbers. And uh, if you're ever creating a normal variable, you can't call it function because that's how you create a function. So local function, right here, I'm going to name my function, so I'm going to call it uh, count to uh, six and then to finish it off you put two parentheses and then hit enter at the end and you should get an end and this basically defines the end of the function the end of where the code uh, runs so in here I'm gonna paste uh, the code again and outside of the function wh um, what I mean by outside the function is after the end because this end uh, sim uh, this end signifies the end of the function so outside the function is just after the end so outside the function, uh, nothing will happen. So if I were to just quickly run the game, running just runs all the scripts without me actually spawning in. As you can see, nothing happened. It didn't print anything, even though the code is there. So to make it print stuff, you just need to do uh, type the function name with two parentheses, and basically the code inside the function will run. So now if I run the game, as you can see, it does it. And if I wanted, I could just do uh, wait uh, like dot like three. So uh, I don't know if I told you guys about weights yet, but basically it just makes a script pause. So uh, if you don't know, uh, if the wait if the waiting is confusing, just don't worry about it. I'm just showing it uh, to kind of simplify functions. So right here, this function will run. It'll wait uh, 0.3 and then run again. As you can see, that's what it did, and it printed all of this. Don't worry about these numbers. That's something else. So. All these numbers were printed because of the function, as, and, and as you can see, it shows what script it came from and what line of the script it did come from. So it says functions, colon 5, which is line 5 on the function script. So that's all there is for functions today. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you guys uh, how you could actually implement this in a game practically. So say you had, uh, say, some sort of round-based game. Basically, you just have a function like uh, TP uh, players to like spawn or something then you'd put the code here and then uh you know after the round ends so like uh you would have an event so you guys don't know what events are either but don't worry after uh, the round ends you'd run the function that would teleport all the players and functions are really useful and i use them on a daily basis so uh make sure you guys understand what functions are if you do need to watch the video again uh other than that make sure you like that video so uh you know the more of these videos show up on your recommended page and you can learn about scripting faster. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Rodov. Peace.